What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to create really cool text titles. I want to give a special thanks to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring today's video. Also, don't forget to check them out on YouTube where they provide their own comprehensive Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials covering a variety of topics. You can visit their YouTube playlist, which I will link down below. So again, I do want to give a big special thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. And uh, this plugin, by the way, is really, really cool. I suggest you guys try it out if you guys want to kind of really customize your titles for any type of project. In this video, we're going to be using the typewriter effects as well as the end credit because it kind of fits the vibe of this particular video. I also do want to let you know that the link is in the description for you guys to purchase and download the Final Cut Pro 10 text toolbox plugin. If you guys use my coupon code KingPixelPro, you guys can get a special discount. So you're going to have it under titles, Pixel Film Studios, FCPX text toolbox. There's different categories. So you have list tools. So this is going to be if you're trying to like point something out in a video and you want to single it out, you can use a single bullet point here and then kind of make reference to that and it kind of animates. So if I push play, you can see this in the preview window. And then if I go over here, the single bullet point bar. So this is a little bit different. It actually gives you a bar, which is really cool. And you can customize the color. You can customize the font, the speed, the size, the position, everything. So, and if I go down really quickly, you have scrolling text, which looks like this really cool stuff. So I push play, it'll look like that. And this one is the one that I used, which is this one, paragraph mask. You have sequence animations. So these are really cool. So you can have a start and end position. So it animates anywhere you have it on the video. And the cool thing about this is it works in 16 by nine, which is standard video. And then you have vertical mode, which is if you're gonna be uploading this for Facebook or Instagram. Here you have text flipping tools. So these are really cool. So these actually flip. Cool thing about this is you can change what it says on the other side. So if I drag this here really quickly. So now if I push play, it'll look like this. So it kind of flips and then it reveals on the other side, a different text if you want that to happen. So it's really cool. So I'm going to delete that. And then you have text path tools, which is honestly one of my favorite ones from this plugin personally, because you can actually move these points. I think there's eight points that you can customize and the text will follow that path that you create. So I'm going to go with the standard one. I'm going to click and drag this in the beginning of the video and I'm going to extend this out like this. So cool thing is you can actually speed this up. So the closer you drag it in, the faster is going to appear. And of course, you can also customize the speed in the parameters over here. So just open up the inspector window, select the text. And then in here, you can actually change the text controls or you can also double click here to change what it says. So I'm going to highlight all of that. I'm going to go in caps mode and I'm going to type in fresco tray and I think that looks pretty good there. I want to move this in the middle of the video because I want to kind of use it as a main title. So now that we have that, I want to change the font. I'm not a big fan of uh, Helvetica News, so I'm going to go with a different one here. So the font's going to be called Albra, I think is what it's called. Really, really good font, by the way. Bold here, and I think the size is good. You can make it bigger if you want, but I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, about 127. To change the color, go to Face, click Show, and then you're going to select the color box. I'm going to change the color to more of a orangey yellow color. So now if I push play, it'll look like this. Now you're going to notice that the line here is not really, you know, it's, it's too long for the bottom and I kind of want to even it out between the actual word. So I'm going to go to the parameters for the text and then you're going to have start offset percent and end percent. So with this, it's really cool. So if I push play, you're going to see it starts relatively slow. Uh, at least for the whole entire animation. So if you want to speed this up, go over to end offset and you can drag this uh, over to the right. If I push play, you're going to see it goes by a lot quicker. So the further I extend this out, the much quicker it types. And if I drag this uh, to the left, you're going to see it starts to type really slow for each character. And then indicator controls is where you can actually change the size or the length of this indicator. So I'm going to go about here. Here under the indicator size, I'm going to make that a little bit taller because, of course, depending on the font, it could be taller and it could be, you know, wider. So you can, you know, of course, customize this to match the desired uh, look that you want. The indicator width is how thick you want this line to be. I want it to be, I don't know, maybe a little bit thinner. So something like that. A standard blink speed. So if I push play, it'll look something like this. So once it stops, it's, you know, like normal. But if I increase this to 
a lot, like 203. And I go about here, it's gonna blink a lot quicker. And if I bring this over to the left and I push play, it's gonna blink a lot slower. Uh, offset standard indicator. So if I extend this, you can see you can get it, you can bring it in closer or you can bring it outwards. So that just changes the position. So if I push play, you're gonna see it looks like that. Really cool stuff. If you guys go over to the plugin and you go down to the, t uh, not the typewriter <laughs> tools, if you go actually up to the uh, top here, you should have the scrolling text here. So there's different uh, presets, of course. So you have the bullet points, if that's the type of vibe that you're trying to go for. So if I just drag this over this clip here, just to show you what it would look like, you know, you could do something like this. And of course you can change the speed here. So if I push play, It'll look like that. But in this case, we're not using bullet points. This one here, again, has bullet points within a box, within a drop a zone. So you could, of course, change the background to whatever you want. You have bullet points mask, which is almost the same as the paragraph mask here. And then you have paragraph, which is this one here. It just goes up and down. And you also have a ticker. So if you're trying to create that kind of news vibe, then this is the one you want to use. Go over to the paragraph mask drag this over your video, so maybe here, and then go to the end and just bring that to just before the video ends. So on the right um, side of that clip here, you're gonna see that this is where it ends, so about just even a little bit before that, so about there. And then here it's gonna start, so if I push play, it'll look like this. It goes in pretty quick, so I'm gonna select the title. I'm gonna go over to the Inspector tab. From here, you're gonna go over to the Text Controls, and then for the text, select everything and then press uh, or just delete it and press command V. I already have this pasted in here. Uh, this is just, out, this is like real credits. I'm not sure from where, but I just went online and got it. So, so of course you would type this in like so, if you want it to be like that. So you would go to the beginning here, you would do directed by, create a new line and then type in, you know, the actual uh, director. And then there you would just type in and lowercase and then all caps, Jennifer Abbott for this case. And then if you want to create a space between this, just press enter, and then now there's a space. If I go back and I push play, it'll have a space in between each credit or line in this case. So now that you have that, you can go into the top here under the transform controls. So before that you have the guides. So you have this uh, enabled, you can actually see where the text is going to begin and where it's going to end. So the green bar here at the bottom is where it's going to begin. You can move this up and down by selecting the actual box. And then if you select these kind of on-screen controls, these circles, you can change where the actual mask is going to end. So if I drag it really close to the beginning and I push play, it's going to end right there. So to hide that, just go back to the parameters, make sure the guise is unchecked. So now if I push play, it'll just appear as a very small line here. Uh, I'm going to move this down and then move this one up. There you go. So I'm going to drag this all the way over here. You're going to notice it completely cuts off at the bottom. If you want to create more of a faded like mask, a true mask look, all you got to do is select the title and go over to the bottom here under mask controls and you're going to have feather so you can actually have the feather um, enabled. So I'm gonna turn off the guide so you can really see what I'm talking about. So if I go to feather, you're gonna notice that on the bottom line, it kind of creates a soft edge. And then the length is the length between the sides. So I think that's good there. And then you also have drop shadow controls. So the drop shadow will of course create a drop shadow. So just so you, the text is a little bit easier to read. But over here un under the transform controls, you can change the overall position. So this is where you can actually change the location and where this mask is ending. So if I go back to mask controls, you're gonna notice you can change where the length of this extends to and where it starts. So just be mindful of that when you're changing the length. I'm gonna go back to the middle here and reset it, but you can move that around if you want. I'm happy with that. So now if I go to the text here, you can actually change the font. So if you go here and you're not a fan of the Avenir Next, you can change that to a different font like this one or this one or that is new or you know like this one baskerville could look really cool i'm gonna go with that one actually and then here if you want to change the color of the font just click this and change it to match that yellow that we kind of or yellow orange that we chose and now if we render this go to modify and render selection so this will of course allow you to render the selection so you can play it back in real time. So once it's finished, I'm gonna go back and push play and it will look 
like this. So if I push play, it's gonna come in and look just like that, super clean. And of course, if you want it to be more readable, you can go and select the clip beneath it and do the same thing at the beginning. So I'm gonna reset this. I'm gonna bring the opacity down. I want it to start relatively dark here. It's gonna start at 68% opacity. I'm gonna add a keyframe. I'm gonna to go to the end and I'm gonna go back to 100%. So now if I push play, it's gradually increasing as it progresses. So you can get really creative with this plugin. I can't really show you everything because that will just take a really long time. Uh, the possibilities are endless. If you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, please leave a like or comment down below and I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.